Ah, okay. So, just now we have seen that transformation of your delta source to equivalent your what you call this equivalent to your uh, equivalent to your star source right. So, I showed you that how one can do it. So, this is a this is actually this is your what you call if uh, if it is your V A B V B C V C A you form the delta I told you right that V B C. So, this direction and V C A this direction then you make equivalent star and this point you mark as a in right and accordingly I showed you that how the relationships are right. So, now so this is all this relationship and you one thing is where this thing that uh, note that that your uh, that angle between this uh, this your what you call uh, voltages it will be different should be 120 degree this all we have seen right V n is equal to V l upon root 3 is equal to V p upon root 3 angle minus in the delta case line voltage is equal to phase voltage right. So, similarly V a n will be I a z y is equal to V l upon root 3 angle minus 30 degree is equal to V p upon root 3 angle minus 30 degree. Similarly, for V b n and similarly for V c n right. So, this is what we call that your uh, this that the, the your this uh, transformation of delta source to equivalent star source just show you that how one can do it right. So, next you take one small example that a balanced star connected load with a phase impedance 40 plus j 25 ohms is supplied by a balanced positive sequence delta connected source when you say positive sequence delta connected source means it will be you take a b c sequence right with a line voltage of 210 volt it is given you, you write you calculate the phase current use V A B as reference phasor right. So, J y that star connected it is. So, Z star or Z y is given 40 plus J 25 is equal to 47.17 angle 32 degree ohm and V A B is the reference voltage. So, here it is you are with a line voltage of to your line to line voltage means it is a line to line voltage right whenever you say line voltage it is line to line voltage whenever you say phase voltage it is phase to neutral right. So, V A B is equal to 210 angle 0 degree this is a reference we have to take. So, we know we have derived this we know I A is equal to V A B upon root 3 angle minus 30 degree by Z Y just now we have derived this formula. So, just go through this right. So, if you V A B is equal to 200 by 210 if you substitute V A B and Z Y you, you will get 2.57 angle minus 62 degree ampere this is your Z y is given and V a b is also given. So, you just simplify it will get 2.57 angle minus 62 degree ampere. So, now we know I b is equal to I a angle minus 120 degree. So, this I a value 2.57 angle minus 62 degree you are then uh, you substitute here if you substitute here. So, it will be minus 62 minus 120 angle will be minus 182 degree and this magnitude of the current will remain same 2.57 ampere. Similarly, I c also is equal to I a angle 120 degree. So, here it will be I a is equal to 2.57 and angle minus 62 plus 120. So, it will be 58 degree ampere right. Next is a power in a balance system in a balance system. Now, we begin by examining the instantaneous power absorbed by the load right. So, power in a balance system. So, for because we have to see the three phase power also for star connected load the phase voltages are this is actually V A n say phase voltage V A n we are making it capital A n right star connected load. So, a I mean it is it is your it is your something like this suppose you have a suppose you have a we have see already I have made it for you before right this is a star connected load right this is a star connected load and this is your capital A say this is capital B and this is C and this is capital N right and that is why this is this is called V A N this is your V A N this is V B N and this is V C N right and your phase voltage phase voltage is V P that is your that is your magnitude magnitude of the phase voltage that is R M S value and multiplied by root 2 means it is the peak value and representing it by the cosine term sin cosine right so, cosine also you can convert it to psi or what you call sin sin 90 degree minus theta cos theta right. So, we are representing this as a cosine uh, thing right say cosine 1. So, now let me clear it. So, in this case that means 
the earlier 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 we have seen that your v is equal to we have already seen no v we have already seen for single phase ac circuit v is equal to v m uh, uh, let me clear it v is equal to v m that sin of omega t. So, v m is the peak value and v m is equal to actually root 2 into v r m s value that we have seen for single phase ac circuit. The same thing is here also we are instead of sin we are represented by cosine meaning is same right. So, in this case this peak value is equal to then root 2 v. So, v p is the your what you call that is the phase voltage, but it is R m s value. So, multiply by root 2 is peak value. So, next one will be it will be omega t minus 120 degree understandable same as before 3 phase system and for C v c n it will be root 2 v p again cos omega t plus 120 degree right. So, this is the representation, representation of V n, V b n and V c n right. It is written here V p max is equal to root 2 V p peak value right. So, this is 120 degree apart and V p I have told you it is phase voltage phase value, but it is R m s value right. So, phase voltage R m s value right. So, let me clear it. So, now angle the current uh, sorry the impedance z y is equal to z theta say. So, the phase current lag behind the, the corresponding phase voltage by theta. So, this is my star star impedance j your what you call j your, your impedance of the star connected uh, load. So, that is z theta it is their angle theta it is a balance one the phase current lag behind their corresponding phase voltage by theta. Thus, we can say i i i a also we can write that root 2 i p cos omega t minus theta this is the because current will lag by your voltage here voltage here it is omega t omega t minus 120 degree omega t plus 120 degree and current will lag from this voltage. So, current also can be represented as i a is equal to root 2 i p i p is the your what you call R m s value of the current that is your phase uh, phase phase current right. So, phase value so multiply by root 2 so this is your peak value right and it is a star connected. So, I a is equal to root 2 i p cos omega t minus theta right. So, uh, your what it is written here i p is the R m s value of the phase current right. So, and i b is equal to root 2 i p cos omega t minus theta will be ok minus 120 degree because shifting by 120 degree and i c will be root 2 i p cos omega t minus theta plus 120 degree for voltages it was cos omega t cos omega t minus 120 degree and omega t plus 120 degree because the current lags by an angle theta. So, minus theta minus theta minus theta will be introduced here right this is understandable. Now, the total instantaneous power in the load is the sum of the instantaneous power in the three phases right. So, all the three phases right. So, if you do so P is equal to P a plus P b plus P c is equal to V a n into I a plus V b n into I b plus V c n into I c right. I mean the circuit, circuit wise if you draw like this it will be something like this. Suppose this is your star connected, this is your star connected, right? Load, still is star connected. So, this is your N, this is your A, suppose this is your B, this is your C, this current is say IA, right? This current is say IB, and this current is say IC, right? So, this car the here then it will be V a n for this phase into I a. Similarly, for this phase it will be V b n into I b for this phase it will be V c n into your what you call the I c this top this point is n right. So, that is why that is why we are making it V a n into I a plus V b n into I b plus V c n into I c right in I mean all each phase and if you if you substitute if you substitute your I A, I B, I C and from here your V N, V A N, V B N and V C N if you substitute and simplify please do this right. So, such so that uh, if you do this it will be in this form P is equal to 2, 2 V P I P then cos omega t cos omega t minus theta plus cos omega t minus 120 degree into cos omega t minus theta minus 120 degree plus cos omega t plus 120 degree into cos omega t minus theta plus 120 degree you simplify this I am I have written the final one, but you simplify this right. So, I mean in your class 11 mathematics trigonometry formula you use this formula like this cos a cos b is equal to half 
cos a plus b plus cos a minus b and simplify. If you do so, it will become p is equal to 3 v p i p cos theta, right. So, thus uh, the total instantaneous power in a balanced three phase system is constant, that means it is time invariant, it is not a function of time, right. So, it is time invariant, so it is system is constant, it does not change with time as the instantaneous power of each phase does. For the instantaneous power for your uh, for your what you call each phase it is okay that uh, as the for each phase it does, but for three phase if you make it together it will be 3 v p i p cos theta. So, it is independent of time right this is one of the um, one of the main advantages of three phase uh, using three phase system right. So, the results is true whether the load is a star or delta whether star or delta this this 3 v p i p cos theta is true right. So, this is one important reason for using three phase system to generate and distribute power because of your it is power is your what you call independent of the time. So, that means since the total instantaneous power is independent of time I told you the average power per phase p p for either delta connected load or the star connected load will be p by 3 because it is a balanced system it is a balanced system therefore, P, B, p p is equal to then per phase power will be p by 3 p by 3 v p i p cos theta. So, p p will be v p i p cos theta per phase right and uh, similarly and the reactive power per phase will be q p is equal to v p i p sin theta right. So, the apparent power per phase will be s p will be equal to v p into i p right. So, no multiplier of cos theta sin theta simply will be v p into i p. So, the complex power per phase will be p p plus j q p is equal to v p i p conjugate this thing has been explained also for single phase right. So, meaning is very simple. So, total average power will be then p a plus p b plus p c is equal to 3 p p. So, it will be 3 v p i p cos theta right, but this can be written as root 3 v l i l cos theta look for a star connected load line current is equal to phase current when you will solve numericals this thing should always remain in your mind right. So, for a star connected load line I told you earlier line current is equal to phase current, but your line voltage right uh, line voltage will be root theta in phase voltage. The meaning is once again I am telling suppose this is your this is your star connected load right suppose this is your star connected load this is your star connected load right. So, in this case this is my line current this is my line current same current is going to this phase. So, this is my phase current. So, line current is equal to phase current this way I am telling you and this point this point is your n right this point is your n and this this is your what you call say this is my v a b and c. So, my v a n actually this uh, here you make small n for your understanding say it is small n. So, v a n is this point this is my phase voltage, but your what you call but line to that that is your what you call that v p is equal to say all balance it is. So, it is v n is equal to v v n is equal to v c n magnitude right. So, v p is equal to v n, but line to line voltage is this as this one say this is my v a b right. So, magnitude of v a b right is equal to then root 3 time your phase voltage that is root 3 time v n, but v n is equal to v p. So, it will be root 3 time v p. So, line voltage is equal to root theta in phase voltage. So, let me clear it. So, that is that is why for a star connected load that is why this this one uh, this one it can be written as your I l is equal to I p and V l is equal to that means it is actually it is 3 V p I p cos theta this can be written as root 3 then in bracket you write uh, your root 3 your what you call V p right into i p then cos theta. So, root 3 will be there and root 3 v p is equal to your line voltage it is v l and it i p is equal to i l right because phase current is equal to line current for a star your star connected load then it will be i l then cos theta. So, this term is written like this. So, it is root 3 v l i l cos theta right. So, this is for a star connector load similarly for a delta connector load just opposite. So, no need to explain again similar way you can do it line current is equal to root 3 time phase current, but V l is equal to V p anyway just let me make it for you. So, this is this is my delta connected load this is my delta connected load right. 
and this is phase A, phase B, phase C. Suppose this is A, this is B, this is C, right? No neutral is a end point is involved here. So this is balance. So this is my your say line current, and and as per magnitude wise, this is my this is my phase current. So this is my I P magnitude wise, right? And in that case, here there is here line voltage is equal to phase voltage. You are what you call line voltage is equal to phase voltage. For example, if it is V A N. That is, that is the voltage across this one only, it is also delta connector load. So, line voltage B or what you call this is my V A B, this is my V A B is equal to basically this is also voltage across this is phase voltage, same as the line voltage. So, it is V A B is equal to V P say magnitude. Similarly, for V B C, V C A all are V P phase voltage, but here the line, here the phase current is here and this is line current. So, line current will be equal to root 3 time phase current. This we have seen earlier also. So, similar way. That means similar way for delta connector load also, just I L should be a root 3 I P and V L should be equal to V P line voltage is equal to phase voltage. This you have to keep it in your mind from the your what you call from numerical point of view. Right. Similarly, total reactive power is Q is equal to root 3 V L I L sin theta. So, total complex power it will be 3 phase right. So, per phase power is P P plus J Q P. So, multiplied by 3. So, 3 P P plus J your Q P uh, sorry 3 into P P plus J Q P is equal to this one P P plus J Q P is equal to we can write V P I P conjugate we have seen. So, it will be 3 V P and I P will be equal to V P upon J P whole conjugate. So, that means 3 V P V P conjugate upon J P conjugate. So, V P into V P conjugate will be magnitude V P square because, because if V P suppose if V P is equal to V P angle theta for example, say then V P conjugate will be V P angle minus theta. So, if you multiply this it will be V P and V P V P square magnitude and it is theta minus theta the angle will be 0. So, it is just a V P square that is why it is V P square 3 V P square and this is this whole thing is conjugate. So, V P conjugate is here divided by Z P conjugate. So, this is Z P conjugate right. And Z P is equal to your what you call Z P angle theta. So, if Z P is equal to Z P angle theta, then Z P conjugate will be Z P angle minus theta. This is magnitude, right? Sometimes we write like this, but is it, is, it is understandable to you, right? It is rather than putting bar, not do it, but this is magnitude, this is angle, understandable to you, right? So, now the, the right, so the impedance per phase, so Z P, Z phase is equal to Z y or Z P, this is Z P actually, Z P is equal to Z delta. So, this is 3 V P square upon Z P your conjugate, right. So, now we can write now then P plus J Q. So, we also can write P plus J Q is equal to root 3 V L I V L I L angle theta. Then we root, if you make it, it will be root 3 V L I L cos theta plus J root 3 V L I L sin theta. Therefore, P is equal to root 3 V L I L cos theta and q is equal to root 3 v l i sin theta. So, we can write like this also, right. So, uh, now another thing is that that is second major advantage of three phase system for power distribution is that the three phase system uses a lesser amount of wire, right. So, three phase system your what to uses a lesser amount of wire than the single phase system for the same line voltage v l and the same absorbed power p l. Right. So, this is your what you call that another major advantage. Now, how we will do this? We have to compare for example, suppose we will compare these cases and assume in both that the wires are in the same material or in both the cases single phase or three phase we assume that wires are of made same material right. Therefore, suppose if you take a single phase uh, source and suppose this is uh, incoming path and this is return path. So, resistance is R and R. So, it will be 2 R right and this is the load connected for the sake of our calculations or easy calculation or for the sake of explanation this load is this load is a purely resistive load right this is a purely resistive load. If load is purely resistive means it is unity power factor load because z is equal to say r plus j x x if x is equal to 0 then it is a purely resistive load and across the load the voltage is say v l that is the load voltage across the load this voltage is v l right. So, this is two wire single phase system, this is incoming path, this is return path and the resistance here is R, same wire, so here is R and same length. So, this is figure 22, right. Now, 
Now, this one your if for three phase system we assume also same thing that your three phase system. So, resistance is R dash R dash R dash three lines is there phase A B C this side is three phase balance source right and this is three phase balance load and we are also we are assuming it is a for each whether it is a star or delta does not matter we assume a pure resistive load. So, power factor of the load is unity right and here also your what you call voltage across the your what you call that V A B that is uh, this, this side is V A B this uh, this is R dash is there some voltage drop will be there, but across there is a phase your what you call line to line voltage across this load this is V L angle 0 degree and this is say B to C it is V L angle minus 120 degree. When you are writing that plus minus plus minus it is instantaneous polarity that means my V A B is equal to V L angle 0 degree and V B C is equal to V L angle minus 120 degree this is whatever is written here this is A to B. So, this is basically line this line this line. So, basically it is uh, your what you call if this is this we can write this we can write if we ignore this loss in this line right then this V A B is equal to V L angle 0 is equal to V B C, but as the current is flowing this is my I A B. So, there will be voltage drop here. So, this one whatever V L will be it will be slightly less than A B right. So, anyway so in this case your what you call in this case V A B or V B C their magnitude not exactly equal to the your what you call the, uh, the V L because this some drop is voltage drop will be there in this R in the resistance right. But anyway uh, uh, nothing to bother about that we will show that the three phase uh, your what you call takes less material material than the your single phase. So, so now for the two wire single phase system that is figured this from this figure it will be I L is equal to simply V L right P L upon V L. So, it is a resistive load if power is the if power is the P L resistive load then I L will be simply P L upon say V L right. So, your uh, what you call if it is your uh, AC single phase AC system. So, if you take V L angle 0 also it will be V L only right and it is a resistive load. So, no Q. So, I L should be equal to P L upon V L then the, then the powers then the your what you call this current is I L then power loss will be I L square into 2 R because here it is R here it is R right you substitute this one you will get P L, P L square into 2 R upon V L that is what has been done right that is what has been done here. So, 2 R into P L square this is equation 1. Now, for the three phase three wire system I L dash will be magnitude I A magnitude I B magnitude I C is equal to your say P L upon root 3 V L because your uh, uh, it is unity power factor load. So, root 3 V L we know that general root 3 V L the current we have taken I L dash because for single phase we have taken I L that is why it is I L dash I L dash right cos theta is equal to your P L plus J Q L that is the formula right so, sorry so, is equal to P L right. So, now question is that cos theta is equal to unity because resistive load right it is a resistive load therefore, V I L dash will be P L divided by root 3 V L right. So, now the, the power loss in the three wires will be I L I L dash square into 3 R dash because three lines are there. So, 3 R dash so, it will be 3 R dash into P L square upon 3 V L square. So, 3 3 will be cancelled it will be R dash into P L square upon V L square. So, this is equation 2 right. Now, if you divide equation 1 by equation 2 you will get P loss upon P loss dash is equal to say 2 R upon R dash right you will you just do it you will get it. Now, we know that R is equal to we use the same material uh, that wire is made of the same material for both the cases. So, R is equal to uh, capital R that is the first case that is single phase case rho L upon pi R square we are assuming that the radius of the conductor for the single phase is R right. So, it will be rho L upon pi R square similarly for the three phase case R dash will be rho L upon pi R dash square right. So, they are of the same material, material and same length right. So, rho will remain same and your what you call only radius will be different say say for the single phase it is r and the for the three phase radius is r dash square right r dash. So, it is r is equal to this r is r dash is equal to this. you substitute here you substitute r 
and this r dash here you substitute. If you do and simplify, you will get p loss upon p loss dash is equal to 2 into r dash square divided by r square. This is equation 3, right. If now if both the your what you call now if both the, if the same power loss is tolerated for both the system that is p loss is equal to p loss dash. If you do so, p, that means if you do so, p loss is equal to p loss dash equation, then it will become r square is equal to 2 r dash square, right. So, that means my r square upon r dash square is equal to 2, this is equation 4, right. Now, that material for single phase by material for three phase, this is volume. So, conductor, your conductor can be represented, that is a long wire, is represented by a cylinder, right. So, if length is L and the single phase case, if r is the radius, so pi r square L, right. So, this is your uh, what you call the volume, it is taken as a cylinder, right, because cross section is circular, divided by your material for the three phase case, it is two wire, it is a two wire system. So, 2 into pi r square L, right, that is the for the single phase case, this is the volume, and for the three material for three phase case, it is a three wire. So, 3 into pi r dash square L, this is the volume. So, if you if you uh, simplify this, so pi pi will be cancelled, L L will be cancelled, it will be 2 by 3 into r square by your r dash square. So, r square by r dash square is equal to 2, so it will be 4 by 3 is equal to 1 point. 333 that means material for single phase wire that is volume actually is equal to 1.333 into material for the three phase. That means if you use single phase for the same power loss for the same power loss right that your volume of the conductor is 33.3 percent more than the three phase right that is why uh, three phase three wire is the benefit or what you call more beneficial. So, this is the idea. So, now, take one example, but I mean for example, you please see the example 2, same example 2, you just see, you have to determine the total average power, reactive power and complex power at the source and at the load, right. So, if you, I mean I am not going to the example 2, but very just, just go to that, go back to that example 2. So, in this case what happened, the system is balanced and it is sufficient to consider single phase, right. So, system is balanced, so single phase analysis is sufficient. So, for phase A, phase voltage is equal to V n at the 110 angle, this is given and this I p phase current also is line current, we have also computed 6.81 angle minus 21.8, there we have computed all these things, right. Now, at the source, so S s is equal to that is S, suffix S small s stands for source is equal to 3 V p I p conjugate, because 3 phase system V p I p conjugate into 3. So, if you do so, this is my V p and this is I p conjugate, right, I p is 6.81. So, I p conjugate will be 6.81 angle 21.8 degree, right. So, it will be 3 V p I p conjugate will be 2087 plus J 834.6 volt ampere. Look, whenever, whenever you are making it, this is my watt, this is actually my watt, right, and this is my bar, right. So, basically, when to write in this form watt plus your bar this can be as volt ampere. For example, suppose if you write P is equal to say 30 watt, 30 watt and Q is equal to your 20 bar, right, it is ok, but when you write in this form P plus J Q 30 plus J 20, it will be volt ampere. That is why this together, when you write this in form, if, I mean P plus J Q form, it will be volt ampere, right, but this one is watt and this one is bar, because if you take its magnitude, it will be volt ampere, that is why we write V A. So, in this case, the real power supplied is that 2087 watt and the reactive power is 834.6 bar, right. Now, you see that example 2, it is very say data everything is given. So, as at the load, the complex power absorbed is, so S load is equal to 3 I p square into Z, it is a balanced system. So, I p square Z p is per phase into 3, right. So, this way you can write. So, Z p is given 10 plus J 8 ohm that is 12.81 angle 38.66 degree, right. Therefore, it is 3 into 6 point current magnitude is 6.81. So, 3 into 6.81 square into 10 plus J 8, right. So, this is your volt ampere. So, this you can write S load is equal to your 1398 plus J triple 13 volt ampere, right. 
So, in this case the real power absorbed is 1392 watt and reactive power is 1113 bar and total if you make it will be volt ampere this is what this is bar I told you. So, the difference between the two complex power is the power absorbed by the line impedance that is the power loss right. So, power absorbed by the line is it is 3 into current square right magnitude 6.81 square and line impedance is 5 minus j 2. So, it is coming 695.6 minus j 278.3. So, when it is minus means it is capacitive right it is capacitive like uh, your what you call impedance is capacitive. So, this will real power absorbed by line 695.6 watt that means this one uh, reactive power absorbed by line is minus 278.3 bar right. Now, next is unbalanced three phase system just one or two or just uh, half page I will tell you. Suppose this load suppose is the unbalanced can be anything Z A, Z B, Z C it may be different right is magnitude may be different angle may be different. Similarly, supply voltage your V A B, B C C A right all these things may be different. I mean if your one is different slightly then it is unbalanced system. So, in the case of unbalanced system I A is equal to say current here this current is your what you call this current this is I A current. So, this current is I A right. So, it is going to this phase I A similarly for your similarly for your this thing I B right and similarly for here it is I C right and this is that uh, neutral point N and this is Z A Z B Z C and this phase voltage V A N V B N and V C N. So, unbalanced system phase voltage also may be unbalanced. So, I A is equal to V A N by Z A I B is equal to V B N by Z B and this is star connected load and this is star connected load. So, I C is equal to V C N by Z C. Now, if you apply K C L here right. So, it will be your I N plus I A plus I B plus I C is equal to 0. That means, my I N is equal to your minus I A minus I B minus I C that is what I have been written here right. If you put it in bracket, so it will be this thing minus of I A plus I B plus I C and in that case if it is unbalanced this I N uh, may not be 0. Right. So, let me clear it. So, that is all for little bit idea for unbalanced system right. Okay. Thank you very much we will be back again.